What's up? I'm Troubleshoot. In this quick guide, I'll be showing you how you can use Stable Cascade in Automatic 11's Stable Diffusion Web UI. In my previous video, I showed you how to install and use Stable Cascade using their software, but it uses a ton of VRAM and things like that. And of course, we can't build it into our Stable Diffusion Web UI workflow. With a brand new extension, we can actually do that. Obviously, first of all, you'll need an installation of the Stable Diffusion Web UI, whether it's on your PC, running in the cloud, etc. Simply fire it up and get into it. In my previous video, I did mention some issues with VRAM. However, using arguments such as these ones here, which you'll find down below, I was able to run it on my 3080 Ti with some pretty good speed and actually not freeze slash crash my entire PC when the VRAM maxes out. We'll see if that still works while I'm recording. I'll fire it up and once it's opened up, you'll need to head across to the extensions tab at the very top. Then head across to install from URL and in the description down below, you'll find a to the SD Web Easy Stable Cascade Diffusers. Simply either copy the URL at the top or click code followed by HTTPS and copy this here. Then paste it into this first box and click install. This will go ahead and download the extension. You can check your Stable Diffusion terminal to find out when it's done installing. Then on the install tab, make sure that it's checked SD Web Easy Stable Cascade Diffusers and click apply and restart UI. Now, of course, this was incredibly quick to install, but that's because we haven't downloaded the Stable Cascade models just yet. We'll be doing those upon the first image generation. So when you get back to your main menu here, head across to the new Stable Cascade tab and we'll enter anything in the prompt here. I'll enter some generic text and click generate. Now, when you do, you can check back at your console and you should see that it's busy downloading a few different models, roundabouts, I'd say 10-ish gigabytes in total size. Once it's done, it'll generate the image and it'll appear on the right-hand side. Now, unlike the stable cascade normal UI that you'll be interacting with, you don't get a preview here. You could probably enable it somehow, but when it's done generating, the image will simply just appear here. So there we go. It's run through these little things here and generated our image. Obviously, we didn't give it anything specific, but this is what came out of it. So let's go ahead and generate something a bit more interesting. Let's say a race car motion blur. If I can spell and let's say the race car has zoom written on it, written on the side as such. Let's see what comes out of this. Now we'll simply need to wait once more for the image to generate. The last one took probably about, I don't know, let's say a minute. Well, there you go, a minute and 46 for the first inference to run here, followed by a few seconds to clean it up and finish it off. So let's wait for this to finish once more. Obviously this will be incredibly quick if you're using something with 24 gigabytes of VRAM, such as a 3090, 4090, V100 or any Thing running on the cloud really. And there we go, we got our race car. I don't exactly see zoom written on it, but this is stable cascade generating the image. You can see it completely maxes out my graphics card while it's running, but at least unlike the usual stable cascade web UI thing, it's not completely crashing out my entire system and I'm actually able to generate images. Now, this is arguably a lot easier if you want to run it on the cloud, whether you're using RunPod or something else, as you can just fire up any old Stable Diffusion web UI, install the extension, and after prompting your first image, it should download and set up to run on powerful graphics cards that are out of reach for most people. However, I don't think there is currently a Stable Cascade Docker image or something like that that you can use on these online sites, so this is probably the easiest way to do it, besides installing a similar extension for Comfy UI and also doing that on the cloud. So is it cool technology? Yeah, it's actually pretty sick, especially when you pull out images with readable text. Obviously, it's only really as good as other AI at the moment. It still gets things wrong. Like I definitely didn't put three Fs here and the cup is in some foreign language, but it is mostly what I asked for, which is streets ahead of normal stable diffusion models. Obviously, if I copy something like this into a normal stable diffusion model, which we also have here, it'll generate a lot quicker, sure, but it's not going to be anywhere near the same amount of quality as we're only generating 512 by 512. I can crank this up, but of course, unless it's stable diffusion XL models and things like that, they start to fall apart. There's other issues here. However, in stable cascade, you can get your images pretty massive and of course run them if you 
have enough VRAM. Maybe I'll crank it down to 512 and see if it does better with text just to test it out. This time, looking at my VRAM, it should use a lot less and it should hopefully generate a lot quicker. Well, VRAM's probably about the same, but yeah, definitely generating the image itself is a lot quicker. Uh, yeah, okay, that's not what we're looking for. <laughs> Let's take out motion blur, maybe. We'll try something a bit simpler. And hey, there we go, it does actually say zoom. Now it seems to fall apart when I push it below 1024 by 1024, but that's pretty much the minimum that you can go on the usual stable cascade web UI, so I kind of expected that here. It is mostly accurate, albeit maybe a little bit confused, but this is definitely a huge step forward. Obviously AI as it is currently is the worst that it'll ever be, and it improves practically every day. So hopefully you found this video useful and or interesting. Thank you all for watching. My name's been Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.